Credit and debt play a major role in almost everyone's financial life. But what do we mean by credit and debt management? What does it mean to be credit worthy? Credit is not necessarily what people think it is. Most people associate credit with debt, as in the use of credit cards. Credit is really about trust. The word credit comes from the Latin word credere, which means to believe or trust. Credit, in a financial sense, means an agreement for a borrower to repay at a later date something that is received now. It usually involves the additional payment of interest, which is essentially the cost to borrow the money. This can vary depending on the type of borrowing, the nature of collateral, if any, and the creditworthiness of the borrower. Understanding credit from a young age is a way to understand that with borrowing comes responsibility. The idea of creditworthiness, the belief that a debt will be repaid in full in accordance with the terms that were originally agreed to, applies to individuals, companies, and all forms of government. When any person or entity needs to borrow money, the decision to lend, along with the required interest rate, will be based on the analysis of the risk level of the borrower. In other words, how likely is it that the loan will be repaid in full according to the terms of the loan agreement? Being creditworthy or having good credit allows both the opportunity to borrow money when needed, but also to receive lower interest rates when borrowing. It is important to be able to borrow money for those times when current income or savings is not sufficient to cover the cost of an important expenditure, like a home or a college education, or when it makes financial sense to use borrowed funds rather than one's own property. Whether you're applying for a mortgage, purchasing car insurance, renting a new apartment, arranging for utility services, or signing up with a new internet provider, you will inevitably be asked about your credit. The lender or provider will often look at your credit report. Think of your credit report as your personal financial report card. This report contains extensive information about your past and present loans and debts and includes your credit score. Your credit score ranges from 300 to 850 and tells lenders how risky you are as a borrower. Every time you pay your credit card balance or repay a loan, the transaction is reported to the credit bureaus and counts towards your total score. Lenders use this information when they are deciding whether to lend you money and what interest rate they will offer to you. It is important to understand how your score is calculated. The credit bureaus typically take the following five factors into account. Payment history, length of your credit history, total open lines of credit and types of credit used, your credit utilization ratio, which is the amount of credit you're using divided by the amount of credit available to you, and the number of hard credit inquiries, which is when a lender checks your credit in response to an application for a credit card or loan application. Low credit scores may result in higher interest rates and down payments because the lender considers you a high-risk borrower. Because of this, it's important to know your credit score. You can find out your credit score by requesting a credit report from one of the three national bureaus online, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. We highly recommend that you check your reports frequently for accuracy. To maintain good credit, it's essential to manage your debt properly. That starts with understanding an important distinction about debt. On the one hand, you can take on debt to buy something that is likely to be valuable long after the loan is paid and may even help you to build wealth. That could be something like a house or a college education. Some kinds of loans also provide deductions that can lower your tax bill. On the other hand, borrowed money can be used to buy things that don't have lasting value and the debt itself doesn't provide any tax benefits. Some examples would be credit card debt, most personal loans, and even car loans. You may want to make an extra effort to minimize or eliminate this kind of debt on what's considered to be depreciating assets. A very important takeaway about managing debt is to avoid the minimum payment trap for credit card debt. This example shows how a $6,000 bill can turn into a $14,000 burden that can take 20 years to pay off if the borrower makes only minimum credit card payments. The best practice is to pay the entire balance each month or at least pay more than the required minimum payment. Remember, managing your debt well is how you build and maintain good credit. And that, in turn, helps you borrow money when it makes sense to do so. At Morgan Stanley, our work in family governance and wealth education, part of Family Office Resources, helps families strive to maximize the value of their human capital by driving family wealth education. Please reach out to your Morgan Stanley financial advisor to learn more.